Hi, I'm Christopher Dean, and welcome to part five of a tutorial series where we build a design system in Sketch. This time we're gonna do some typography changes that a few of you sent in. Okay, we're in abstract and let's make a new branch. We're gonna call this typography community updates one. Select edit and sketch. And we're right back to where we left off. Okay, let's zoom out. Zoom into typography iOS. And as you can see here, I'm a little bit more organized this time. All right. Okay, the first thing that somebody picked up on was from Nick Toy. If you want to see him on Twitter, his handle is at Nick Toy. He picked up that there was a missing iOS subhead style. So let's go back and fix it. Subhead comes under callout. So let's turn on our layout settings with control L. Move all of these down to at least there. We're gonna to have to do the same with the primary set and the same with the white set. We're gonna grab all the callouts, duplicate them and move them down. Change callout to subhead. Copy and paste that into all of the others. Do the same thing here. And the same down here with the white ones. And how's the spacing on that? Not too bad. Hmm. Let's move this down to, and this down to. Turn on our guides and make this a little bit higher. Okay, go back into the updated text and all of the subheads, if we select them all, need to be changed to 15 and 20. And you can see that here in the human interface guidelines from iOS. Subhead 15 and 20. Let's go back. Create a new style for subhead. Copy that and do the same for all of the others. Almost done. Well, let's just check them. Yep, they're all done. And what's next? Carl Rossati was asking for some iOS typography styles for iPad at 1x, but I had a look at the human interface guidelines and there's not a lot of documentation on how to take like a native apps typography and then scale it up or how it scales up once it gets to an iPad. So I wondered, did we actually need them or 
could we just add the missing style large title? So there's another one I didn't do last time. Have a look at the human interface guidelines for typography and there it is right up the top, large title. It's 34 and 41. So let's go back to the artboard we just updated and update it again. This time we're gonna move all the titles down. About six nudges. Grab all the titles, duplicate them, move them up. Go up and change the first one to large title. Copy that into the others. Right, let's select them all. And change this to 34 and 41. We're going to select that first one, copy its name, go over and create a new text style, replace title one with large title, but we're going to make the T a capital. So it's iOS large title black left and still camel case. Let's do that for all of the others. This time we'll copy this. Check that. Awesome. Let's pull back out, make this a little bit higher. Move all the white styles out of the way a little bit. Hmm. And if you're wondering what that looks like, I set up a couple of artboards displaying all of these styles. This is what they look like on a native app, like an iPhone 8, and this is an iPad landscape. And I think that's gonna be enough. If you wanna add any more, Carl, uh, go right ahead. But uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next one comes from Bruna Urbina, and she noticed that H3 and H4 were the same size, <laughs> and her, Twitter handle is at B-R-U-U-R-B-I-N-A. Let's go and fix that, eh? Let's go back to the desktop styles. Grab all the H4s. They used to be 24. Eight down from here would be 
16 and 24. And that should be all right. Let's just move them back up into place. Select them all again and press the update icon. Let's just go and check them. Okay, done. And lastly, uh, it's my job to clean it up a little bit. So let's go back to the file and see if there's anything else going on. Okay, H3, I think, has an extra style. There it is. Let's go and delete it. Check the others. Okay, that's all right. Let's go into each folder and see if there's only text in there. Ah, here we go. Sometimes when you're moving around fast, you'll just draw lines without even knowing it. Where are they? Hello, and goodbye. Let's go back out and check the other folders. There's two more there. So there's gonna be two more here as well, since I duplicated that set twice last time. All right, that should be it. I also noticed that the brand heading doesn't have a textile. This one's H1, that one's H2, so let's give it H2. Okay, that's it. Let's save where we are. Come down to the abstract toolbar and preview and commit. Enter typography, community updates one done. Commit changes. and then merge this branch. Everything looks fine, but let's just check. All right. In part six, we're gonna be doing buttons. So join me for that one and I'll see you next time. Bye.